In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use an AliExpress alternative supplier called Zendrop. I've used Zendrop for many different Shopify stores that I have scaled to five figures in revenue. And Zendrop has multiple different features that you can benefit from in comparison to using something like AliExpress. Firstly, Zendrop has super fast shipping times around five to eight days. Secondly, they have automatic order fulfillment. So if you're having a high amount of orders, you can get all of your orders and tracking numbers updated automatically. So this is going to save you a lot of time and headaches. And they also have things like custom branding. So you can add custom thank you cards to your packages so that you can brand your store. And they have loads of other things like being able to create bundles on their platform. They have a wide variety of products to sell. And they also have a Zendrop Academy where you can get access to their courses that show you how to run ads and scale your store. So like I say, I'm going to be giving you a full tutorial on the Zendrop platform. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So I will leave a link in the description to Zendrop and you should come over to their homepage. Now I just want to go over some of the benefits of using Zendrop in comparison to AliExpress. So firstly, you have super fast processing and shipping times. So around five to eight day shipping times. So your products are gonna to get to your customers a lot quicker than if you were using AliExpress. And this is of course always much better because it reduces the amount of customer service emails you have to deal with. And you can actually get more repeat customers if you have quicker shipping times. You have automated shipping. So if you upgrade your Zendrop plan, everything is basically automated as soon as an order comes through from your Shopify store it will go through to Zendrop and they will go and fulfill it for you and update all of your tracking numbers so you don't have to go and do everything manually which can be very time consuming if you're having a high amount of orders they also have a large array of products that you can start selling so they have a wide variety of different products in all different niches you can actually go and add custom branding to your store as well so you can go and add custom thank you slips you can go and add custom tape and things like that to your packaging so there are lots of benefits to using Zendrop like I say I will leave a link in the description and from here you can just click on create your free account you can then fill out the registration form so just enter in your name your email address choose a password and your mobile number and then click on create account you will then receive a seven day free trial to Zendrop plus so this is where you can go and get some of the extra features that you don't get with the free plan. So like I mentioned, you get automated fulfillment, you get access to the Zendrop Academy, you can add custom branding to your products and all of these types of things. So it's up to you if you do want to upgrade your plan. If not, you can just click on select free plan. Once you create your Zendrop account, you will be prompted to connect your Shopify store to your Zendrop account straight away. So you can just go and enter in your Shopify domain name and then just click on connect. You will then be brought to your Shopify store and you can click on install app. Once you have connected Zendrop to your Shopify store, you will then be brought back to your Zendrop account. And from here, the first thing we are going to do is search for some products. So down the left hand side, you can just click on find products. Now, the first thing that you can do, of course, is to use the search bar to search for some products that you want to sell. So I can just come in here and for example, I can just type in bath toy and then you can just go and hit enter and you will see all of the different products that you can start selling. You can, of course, go and import products from AliExpress as well. But I recommend to actually use the Zendrop fulfillment products because they are going to fulfill a lot quicker. So once you have found a product that you like, you can simply click on it and import it. We're not going to do that just yet because I just want to show you how you can go and filter the products further when you are searching for them. So you can go for ships from anywhere and you can go for ships from US. So products that ship from the US are going to ship slightly quicker, but also you will have less variety of products to choose from. So I recommend just to go for ships from anywhere because these products that ship from China, they still ship fairly quickly and you will have more variety of products to choose from. Then you can go to categories, of course, you can go and search for products in different categories. If you're not sure which particular product you want to search for using the search bar, you can go to all suppliers. So Zendrop does have different suppliers that you can go and use. I recommend to go for the Zendrop fulfillment themselves because generally I found that the Zendrop fulfillment products ship a lot quicker and it's just easier to deal with their customer service. But if you are looking for a particular product, all of their suppliers have been vetted. So most of their suppliers are fairly reliable. So you can always search for all suppliers if you're looking for a particular product. But in general, I would recommend Zendrop fulfillment. And then you can go to the price range. So you can 
can go and bring the price range down or up whatever you want to and then you can just hit apply so like i say once you have gone and searched for some products and you're ready to import some products to your store you can simply just go and click on the product and from here you will see a brief description of the product you can order a sample of the product if you want to check the quality and if you scroll down you will see the average shipping times for how long the product is going to take to ship to the customer and then you will see the product costs for each variant of the product including the shipping so you can see for this particular product it's going to cost me $15.28 with shipping so if you are happy to import the product to your store you can click on add to my products once you have clicked on add to my products you can now go and push the product to your store. So you can go to my products. From here, you can edit the product further before you push it to your Shopify store. So you can click on review and publish, and then you will see the product here. You can go and change the product name if you want to. So I'm just gonna go and call this octopus baby bath toy. You can add a product type and you can go and choose a collection. If you go over to the description, you can go and edit the description of the product, of course. You can come over to variants, and this is where you can go and choose how much you are going to mark the product up. So how much you're actually going to sell it for. I think this is slightly expensive, so we're just gonna go for $21.99, let's say, for example. And then we can go and just paste this into all of the variants. And then you can come over to the images and you can select or unselect any of the images that you don't want to use. So I'm just gonna go and unselect these two. I don't think they look too great. And then once you are happy with all of this, you can click on publish to my store. You might get this message depending on the product. So it will just say this product will show 50,000 units in inventory in your store. This is just a placeholder since we do not have a real-time inventory for the factories we buy products from. And then it just says when you first start selling a product, it might take longer than the normal one to three days to ship. This is normal and it should not happen once you start selling it regularly. So basically, once you start making regular sales, they actually start to prioritize your store and ship things quicker for you. So once you are happy with all this, you can click on got it and then click on confirm. The product will then publish to your store so then you should be able to find it live in your Shopify store. Once the product has finished publishing to your store, you should see this linked here. So then you can head back to your store and you can go and see under your products if the product has been pushed to your store so we can see the product here. So now that we have done that, the next thing I want to show you is how to fulfill an order. So you can come over to orders and in here you will see all of the orders that are coming through for those linked products from your Shopify store. Now, if you are getting a high amount of orders, I personally recommend to upgrade your Zendrop account so you can turn on auto fulfillment. And this way, all of your orders will be automatically fulfilled and all of the tracking numbers will be updated automatically. So this will save you a huge amount of time from going in and fulfilling orders manually. However, if you are on the free account, you will just see your orders in here and you can just go and fulfill them manually. So you can just go and click this button to select all of the orders or you can select an order individually and then you can just go and pay for that order. So you'll just click on it and then you just have to click through to go and pay for the order on Zendrop. It's very simple, but like I say, if you are getting a large amount of orders, then you're going to want to just turn on auto fulfillment. You can also go and turn on branding as well if you upgrade your Zendrop account, and this way you can go and add in those custom thank you cards. So if I open up one of these orders that you can see here on my account, if we just scroll down, you can see I've got this custom thank you card. And then as I had auto fulfillment on for this account, I've just turned it off recently because I'm not really running this store anymore but I had auto fulfillment turned on so you can see all of the tracking numbers have been updated automatically so you can just go and click on the tracking number and then you will be brought over to this parcel apps website and if you scroll down you can see all of the tracking information for the particular product so you can see for this one shipping information received arrived at sorting facility departed from processing center arrived at international airport and so on and so on so like i say it's super easy to go and sort all of your customer service and all of your tracking numbers when you do use zendrop's auto fulfillment you can also go and top up your zendrop account so if you click on top up you can top up using credit card paypal Pix and Boleto, never use these, so I don't really know what they are. But this basically just means you can have a credit on your account. So when you are using auto fulfillment, 
all of those orders will just be taken directly from your credit. So I recommend to go and top up your credit balance regularly so that when orders are coming through, they can just be automatically fulfilled without you having to worry about it. You will also see unpaid orders. So these are orders that you haven't fulfilled. You will see link or source. So you're going to see the products that these orders actually came from. And then you will see issues. So if products haven't been shipped out or anything like that, you will see that under issues. So now that I have gone over how to fulfill orders, the next thing I do want to go over is some of the extras if you upgrade your Zendrop account. So some of the extras like branding, bundles and boxes, AliExpress import and those types of things. So we can just firstly start off by clicking on branding. From here, you can toggle on branding. And once you toggle this on, all of your orders will have a custom packing slip added to the order. You can then go and design your custom packing slip. So you can go and upload your logo. Once you have uploaded your logo to your custom thank you card, you can then go and add a message as well. So you could just go for something like, thanks for shopping with and add your store name. And then you can just say something like, we're so happy to have you as a customer. We're giving you a gift. Use code 10 off to get 10% off your next order. Thanks for your amazing custom. Something along those lines, I recommend to give them a discount code so that they shop with you again. You can go and add in your company address and support email. And then you can go and download a sample of the image just to see what it's going to look like. You can then just go and hit save. Alternatively, you can then go and create a custom packing slip yourself. So if you want to go and design it in Photoshop or in Canva, you can then go and upload this. So if we go over to custom, you can see this is a custom one that was created. And this is in French because for this store, I was selling to France. So I got someone who can actually speak and write French to create this custom packing slip for me. And then I've gone and uploaded it. So like I say, you've got a couple of different options when it comes to branding with your Zendrop account. Next up, we can go to bundles and boxes. From here, you can create a product bundle. So you can click on create a bundle. It will then ask you to select the products that you want to add to your bundle. So we can search for the product and hit enter. And then you can go and choose multiple different products that you want to add to your bundle. So if you have pushed multiple products to your store, you can then go and create that as a bundle so that you can bring in more profit by selling those products as a bundle. So once you have chosen the products that you want to add to your bundle, you can click on next. You can then go and name your bundle and then you can go and select how many of each product you want to be added to your bundle. So for example, it could be two of one product and one of another or three of one and two and two of another. However, you want to go and create your bundle. So for example, we could come in here and choose two units for this particular product. Then we can scroll down and you can click on create. You can then go and push the bundle to your store. So you can click on add to my products. And then if you go over to my products, you will see that bundle there. And again, you can click on review and publish. And once again, you can add in a product name, add in a product description. You can go and add in the sale price and then you can go and choose the images for the bundle and then click on publish to my store. Now I'm not going to publish this bundle to my store. So we can come back to bundles and boxes. And I'm just going to remove this bundle from my products. And then I'm just going to go and delete this bundle because it's not a very good bundle. So now we can go to subscription boxes and it's basically the same thing. So you can click on create a subscription box. Again, you can go and name your subscription box. And basically the way subscription boxes work, you can go and create multiple different bundles and then you can go and offer these as a monthly bundle that will be sent out. So you can go from month one, choose one bundle, go to month two, choose another bundle. So of course I've only got one bundle created so I can only choose this one bundle. But if you go and create, let's say 12 bundles, then you've got one year's worth of bundles that you can create a subscription box around. So you can click on add month and choose another bundle. So like I say, you could go and add 12 months worth of bundles. So that way it's a one year subscription and every month the customer will get a new bundle. Once you have gone and chosen that, you can click on create. And then again, you can go and click on add subscription box to my products. And then you can go and add in the product description. You can choose the sale price and all of those things before you push it to your store. Exactly the way I just showed you with the bundles. So again, I'm just going to delete this subscription box and click on continue. So now that I've shown you bundles and boxes, we can go to the AliExpress import feature. And from here, you can enter in the AliExpress product URL. You will have to install the Zendrop Chrome extension in order to go and import products from AliExpress. And then you can simply just hit import and it will import the product from AliExpress. It will go into my products and that is where you can edit it before you publish it to your Shopify store. I personally don't recommend to use this. It's a good tool to have, but 
but really if you are using Zendrop then you want to be fulfilling from Zendrop because that is one of the main benefits of using Zendrop. You get faster fulfillment and shipping and you get better customer service when you are drop shipping Zendrop's products from their platform. But if you want to import a product from AliExpress then you can go for it. Now we can go to trendy products and these are products that Zendrop recommends you to sell. As you can see they are updated weekly and these are products that are selling well and have a high sales volume. So if you are stuck on what products to sell, you can come into Trendy Products and have a look at the, some of these products. I personally recommend to do your own product research and find your own products. But like I say, if you are stuck, you can have a look at these Trendy Products. Then you can just simply click on one of these products and it works exactly the same as when you find products. You can just click on Add to My Products and then you can go and edit them before you publish them to your Shopify store. And finally, I just want to show you the Zendrop Academy. And in the Zendrop Academy, you will see all of the courses that they have created. So you've got how to find winning products, TikTok ads, Facebook ads, branding and scaling. So you can go and have a look at some of these courses. They will be fairly useful, especially if you are a beginner, you can go and find some good information from the Zendrop Academy. So that is basically Zendrop in a nutshell. Like I say, I will leave a link in the description to Zendrop drop and you can go and check it out for yourself. I think they're a really great alternative to using AliExpress. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you have and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.